come. You dare escort that oaf in here and, and allow him to climb on the hallowed throne? And why not? He is the wizard. The wizard, or so he says. She's a, she's archetypally evil, bad, wicked, and she, you know, I decided that the best way to play her, I thought, was that the more evil she is, the more pleasure it gives her. So she's just kind of in a state of, uh, kind of uh, vibrating kind of ecstasy most of the time. She's just, she's having a great time. Have you finally joined her side, sister? I am on no one's side. You know that. I, I simply want peace. It's all I ever wanted, and the wizard can do that. He's a good man. Oh, what do you know about goodness? Deep down, you are wicked. You're not wicked! <laughs> it's an over-the-top character in an over-the-top movie, so the only thing you can do is ground her a little bit. And she was given a reason for her excessive behavior, so to speak. She's a girl with a broken heart uh, who can't deal with the emotions and doesn't have the right tools to deal with the emotions. And, her sister gives her an escape and she takes it. And so long as I kept her grounded in that, then everything else kind of came in secondary. I want to go with you. What? Uh, on a witch hunt? No, you're just a little girl. I'm not as delicate as I look. That didn't hurt. He's always looking other places to find happiness. He thinks it's always you know, um, somewhere other than he is, and, he, and that blinds him to the fact that the people around him are, you know, love him and are his loved ones, and that's actually where he'll find happiness. Yeah, it's challenging to not make her easily dismissed as being, you know, too perfect or unrelatable, um, so, uh, to know how to not make her ridiculous because it's not, you know, it's not human to be all good all the time. But then I think about some people that I know, I'm like, you know what, I wouldn't, good wouldn't be the first quality that would come to my mind, but they are good, they are all good, but they are shaded by their humor, their courage, you know, their shades of goodness that come in to give them layers and depth. How hard could it be to kill a wicked witch? Hard! Really hard. It's very, very hard to kill a wicked witch. And what about that poor girl back there? I think she really liked you. She'll get over me. The thing I don't understand about Dorothy is <laughs> she lives in this horrible version of Kansas. It's drab and they're struggling. She goes to Oz. It's magical. All these, you know, interesting people and she just wants to get back home, and uh, I just don't know why. I guess, I guess Annie M and her uncle are just great, but it just didn't make sense to me that she would want to leave that land. 